A starlit sky, colliding galaxies, possible worlds beyond our own. Discoveries in astronomy strike a chord in scientists and non-scientists alike. Tonight and every night, researchers at NSF-funded facilities are making observations and gathering data that will fill in the gaps of our understanding of our solar system and the vast space beyond. Indeed, NSF is making it possible to explore the universe from the ground up. Ground-based observations have had an inherent challenge, having to peer through the Earth's atmosphere which distorts images. For any celestial source of light, small pockets of air in the atmosphere act like lenses, bending the light in random, unpredictable directions. That's why stars twinkle before the naked eye and why astronomers were challenged with inherent distortion for over three centuries. In the 1970s, astronomers discovered a way around this. We launched a satellite into space and placed a telescope above the atmosphere. Soon, space-based telescopes became the best source of sharp images for scientists around the globe. But things have changed. Today, facilities based on terra firma produce images that rival the view from space. How? with advanced technologies such as adaptive optics. Put simply, while our images are at first distorted, thin, flexible mirrors and advanced computing deliver clear images. NSF-funded telescopes dot the landscapes of many exotic locales, from mountaintops in Hawaii, Arizona, and Chile, to the snowy plateau of the South Pole. Observatories are found all over our planet and often there are different types of telescopes within the same complex. Modern ground-based telescopes come in three varieties, optical infrared, radio, and solar. By funding all three types, NSF enables scientists and students from around the world to advance our knowledge of the cosmos and to push the envelope of the unknown. Different telescopes provide different views. While it's rare to have more than one telescope pointed at the same object at the same time, it is common for objects in the sky to be observed multiple times with different telescopes. With telescopes at the National Optical Astronomy Observatory, researchers primarily study objects in visible light and in the infrared. In contrast, telescopes at the National Radio Astronomical Observatory observe the skies at radio frequencies. While optical telescopes are located in very dark, remote sites, Radio telescopes are placed in radio quiet zones. While similar to optical infrared images obtainable at Arizona's Kitt Peak Observatory, an unhindered view of the southern hemisphere is captured at Cerro Tololo in Chile. Arecibo, part of the National Astronomy and Ionosphere Center, specializes in both listening to radio waves from space and transmitting radio pulses into Earth's atmosphere to study its upper layers. While other telescopes focus on dim sources of light like distant stars and nebulae, the telescopes of the National Solar Observatory are specialized to observe the hot, bright sun, the nearest star to Earth. And Gemini, the largest two optical infrared telescopes funded by NSF, provides researchers with some of the deepest and sharpest astronomical images ever obtained. Radio, optical, infrared, each provides a different piece to the puzzle of the universe. From nearby comets and asteroids to exotic exoplanets and distant galaxies, telescopes funded by the National Science Foundation are making discoveries now that just a few years ago were mere science fiction. This is modern, ground-based astronomy at NSF feet are on the ground while our eyes are on the sky. I'm Lisa Joy Zaborski with the National Science Foundation.